and this is exactly what the Bible says God does not fill people with any evil spirit but the Bible says immediately the Spirit of God left Saul the evil spirit entered but look at the procedure that Saul went through in order to receive that Spirit of to receive the Holy Spirit or to receive the Spirit of God by then there was no Holy Spirit but the Spirit of God the procedure was too long and too heavy for him first he was to miss his donkey and start searching for it three days mm. thank you Holy Spirit I hear what the Lord is speaking to me over that Saul lost their donkey and he started searching for donkeys three days not finding the donkeys moving from one place to another place from one place to another place looking for donkeys not knowing that God had a hidden agenda with the lost donkeys what am I trying to raise here this afternoon sometimes some problems we have God is behind them sometimes the situations we have God is behind them hallelujah God is behind you. Sometimes you can be going through a situation and you are praying over it, but God is not giving answers by that particular time because he has a hidden agenda behind your problems. Imagine if Saul would have found the donkeys the first day. The idea from the servant we are almost Rama, and we hear at Rama or in Rama there is a prophet of God. The idea would have not occurred. Why? Because the donkeys are found. Mm. May your donkeys take longer until you reach Rama. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Imagine if the donkeys would have been found. The second day, the suggestion of Rama would have not occurred. It had to take three days and they were moving and they were walking, walking until they reached Rama. And our soul says, we have to go back because I feel something. My father is not terrified about the donkeys. My father is terrified about me. My father is no longer thinking about the donkeys. I know right now my father is thinking about me. And the servant told him, Sir, I think we are almost Ogunga and we are approaching bright light. And I hear there is a prophet at bright light. Sir, we are in Kericho, almost arriving Kisumu. And I hear there is a prophet in Kisumu. Why don't we go and consult from him and Saul said how do I go to a prophet when I am empty handed I have nothing to offer before the prophet don't you know the law says don't go to a prophet of God empty handed I can't go today what is it that is speaking in your mind to give up something is telling you to give up what is it Blessed be the Lord that today, 2023, as it begins, may God give you good friends in Jesus' name. Today, I take this opportunity to scatter any friend and wipe into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God take away empty, dead friends from your life in the name of Jesus. This was more than a friend more than a friend more than a servant if it would have been another servant he would have said mm -hmm. I am tired walking because for him to walk it's because Saul was walking hallelujah he couldn't tell Saul I'm going back how how does he even dare start saying that he's a servant and just teach how does he even start telling Saul come on Saul let's go back Saul at you you're supposed to walk when I walk but when Saul said, I am going back, he told Saul, no, you are not going back. There is a prophet here. 
May you receive such friends in Jesus' name. Friends that when you want to give up, they will tell you, don't give up. Walk. Friends that can tell you, don't quit. Not friends who will support you and gear you up. If you are at gear two of reverse, push you to gear four so that you can reverse quickly. That was not the kind of friend Saul had. When he said, I think my father is worried about me. Let's go back. He said, no, you are not going back. We are moving forward. There is a prophet here. And when Saul said, and what do I have to give? And he told Saul, I have still some of my salary. I still have some of my salary. I've not used. I will give it to you. If it would have been another servant, he would have said, by the way, you have nothing. Let's just go back. Saul had nothing, but he had something. And he told Saul, I still have some of my salary. If you feel your life has a mess because of some of the friends you have been having, stand on your feet. We need to crush that spirit. Ukijua maisha yako yamekuwa na matatizo kwa sababu ya marafiki wengine ambao uko nao. Simama tu kwa miguu yako. I think it's a spirit that we have to crush. 2023, you know, you don't need such kind of friends. You need friends like the one Saul had. Friends who can encourage you. Friends who can tell you you are almost there. Friends who can tell you you can make it even when you are breaking down. Even when you are losing. Friends who can gear you up. Friends who can motivate you. Friends who can tell you no, 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 no. It is tough, yes, but you can still make it. First, it was quitting. Almost quitting. Leaving it. Oh, my father is now looking for me. My father is not terrified about the donkeys. My father is terrified about me. I have to go back. And this was a maid. And he tells him, he was a servant, sorry. And he, okay, maid and servant is almost the same thing. Different times, doing the same job. And he told him, we are almost Rama. And in Rama, there is a prophet. Let's go and consult from him. When they reached, we all know what happened. Samuel had prepared a feast but separated a particular part of the feast. Some meat, special part of the, the cow. And he said, take it up. For I am waiting for somebody. Take it up. And as people were feasting, eating, Samuel wasn't eating. Why? Because he was waiting for somebody. Who was he waiting for? The very man who was about to quit. The very man who thought now the donkeys is not the issue. The issue is me. And when Samuel reached, and when Saul reached, he asked, May I talk to Samuel? And Samuel said, I am the one you are talking to. I am this and this. And Samuel told him, Fine. Even before you go far, you are looking for the donkeys. The donkeys are already found, but you will sleep here. For tomorrow, I'll have a word with you. But go upstairs. I want to feast with you. That was first step of him. Second step, step, he met the prophets coming from the mountain. And he joined them while they were singing. Then there was the man with the cake. And then Saul started prophesying. <coughs> Until there was a saying from that very day. Is Saul among the prophets that he is now prophesying? And all these stages led him to receive the Spirit of God. But when the Spirit of God left him, the evil did, spirit did not need a procedure to get him. It came automatically. There was no any procedure for the evil spirit to come. But there were stages for the Spirit of God to come in. 